Hello, you want to learn how to make curses in Lens Studio. I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Okay, so first thing we want to do is set up a, a head binding object. So by uh, for, so to do that, we right click in the options objects panel. Sorry, objects panel over here. I'm gonna right click. Create scene object. And then we're just going to press F2 to rename it. I'm gonna call it head binding or head pin is what I usually do. And we're gonna attach it to the camera. And we're going to go into add component on the right side in the inspector and choose head binding in the face section. This will give us this face mesh here. This is just uh, a guidance. Uh, this is everything that is close to this thing will attach to your face. Uh, so, what are we going to attach to the face? Well, I have made a strawberry beforehand, and to get that into Lens Studio, we're going to hit File and Import. Now, uh, 3D models can be uh, FBX or OBJ formats. Uh, I think they support another format, which I don't really know what it is, but we're just going to use an FBX model. I made this beforehand. Uh, don't have to change anything here unless, you know, when you want to set a custom animation interval if you have an animation in the 3D model, which we don't. So just going to import it. And it appears in the scene a bit too big right now. So we're just going to scale it down until it's like matches the size of our head. Maybe a bit smaller. That's completely up to you. Excellent to put a camera in this one. So I'm just going to remove that camera. We don't need it. And then we're just going to move the strawberry to bring it back. So it lines with the face like so. Uh, I will put a, a download link to this strawberry if you want to use it uh, just to follow along in the tutorial. Um, now you can see that these stems here are a bit broken. And that's because uh, the opacity texture is missing. Uh, so to fix that we're going to go into the strawberry here in the resources menu and find the material. I'm going to click that. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal and activate. Apparently that fixed it. Usually I have to actually... No, wait. We have still have a bit of artifacting there. So we're going to select opacity texture. And then we're just going to pull in this alpha texture. It would be in the download file. So you can find it easily if you want to use it. You can use any other 3D model if you want. And we're just going to hit this texture box in the opacity texture and choose the alpha. Make sure that it is exact as uh, I intended it to be. Now, to make the strawberry attach to our actual face, we're just going to hit it and click it in the objects panel and move it up to the head pin. Now it's on the face. Whee! I'm just gonna scale it up a bit more. So, yeah, that's better. Just move it back a little bit. And now, uh, now we want to put face options, or fa face parts, eyes and mouths on the strawberry. So to do that, we're gonna create a new scene object. And in add component, we're gonna find face inset. And we're gonna press Ctrl D to du duplicate this object twice. And we're gonna change the name of the first one to mouth, the name of the second one to left eye, and the name of the third one to right eye. The, uh, for the left eye, we're going to go into 
face inset, face region, and change it to left eye, and the same with the right eye. Now, uh, to make it attach to the mesh, so we don't have <laughs> our, our, our face details stuck in the air like that, we're just going to select them all and move them to the strawberry mesh. Now it attaches to the face. Uh, and to make them be in the places we want, just go into view to the scene. This might automatically go into the to the scene if you have it set to that. I disable that because annoying. We're just going to go in here. I'm gonna select the left eye. That's that's the right eye, I think. Oh, that's the left eye. Okay. We're just going to move it over a bit, and the same thing with the right eye. I said the same thing with the right eye. Lens Studio, please. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. And now we have face details where we want them to be. But they're kind of floating inside the mesh a little bit, as you can see doesn't really align with the face of the mesh, so to speak. So we want to in go into view 3D scene. We're going to select all the face parts. We're just going to move them forward a bit. So now they don't float all around so much. But now we have another issue. We have a background. You can still see my disgusting body. And we don't want that. We want green screen options. So. Attached to the camera, we can see that we have a render target. And uh, where do we find options for render target? In the resource panel, we have a render target here. So we click that and we see this clear color background. Change that to color or you can change it to texture if you want. I'm going to change it to a green color. And now we have green screen. This might mess with the stem. So I guess you can tweak it a little bit if you want. I don't know what your green screen settings are, but that's that's the gist of it. That's how you do it. Now you can change the project info to whatever you want, and you can just publish it and use it as you like. <laughs> I guess that's it. Enjoy. Have fun making f disgusting curses <laughs> and if you want more more tutorials for more advanced stuff i can fix that just say the fucking word right <sighs> and uh, I, just as a bonus if you want to like change the how 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 much much of the these face details you can see you can go into each of the face insets and you just can change the border radiuses so you can make the mouth small and sharp or you can like make it big and fuzzy same with inner inner radius kind of feathers it out a bit more that's it that's the whole thing. Bye.